came, took them all away. So will it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken, one will be left behind. Bang! Just like that. It will happen. It will not happen gradually. But when Jesus comes, my friends, bang! It will happen just like that. And people will be wondering, where has everyone gone? Because God has taken the church back. Are you ready for Jesus? Are you saved? Because you need to be saved. Two women, two women will be grinding at their meal. One will be taken, you will be left behind. What will you be? Will you be left behind and will you be taken? In the second year, therefore, watch, for you do not know the hour and what the Lord is coming. Do you think that a thief is going to leave a telegram in your house saying, I'm going to burn you the house about office two on a Sunday afternoon? No. A thief will come when you least expect it. Well, if you knew what time a thief was going to come to your house, would you not be ready? That's right. Would you not be ready? Mm -hmm. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. That's right. Therefore, you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not know. Mm -hmm. It is written in God's Word. Luke 21, 7 onwards. The signs of the times and the end of the age. Are you listening? You better be. So they asked Jesus again, saying, Teacher, when will these things be? What sign will be? And what will these things be when they take place? What will happen? Jesus said, take heed that no one be deceived again. He is saying, be not deceived. Many will come in my name saying, I am he. But when you hear of wars and rumors of wars and commotions, do not be terrified. Do not be terrified, for these things must come to pass. First, for the end will not come immediately. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Nation will rise against nation. I have no problem in repeating this. Kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes in various places, famines and pestilences. All these things, what I'm saying now, is happening. You're still blind to it. Are you still blind to it? Well, I'll carry on. There will be fearful sights. Fearful sights. I'll read it again. And there shall be fearful sights. People are walking around in fear. Why walk around in fear when you can have Jesus Christ and walk around as a sound mind, a power of love? Great signs from heaven will appear. All these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you and deliver you up to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, but it will turn out for you as an occasion for my testimony. Therefore, do not set it in your hearts not to meditate on what you will say. I will give you what to say on that hour. For it says in God's word, it is written, the coming of the Son of Man, I am telling you that Jesus is coming. We need to be ready. I need to be ready. There's some Christians that need to be ready here. But my friends, it says in God's word, what will there be for those who are not saved? What will there be for you who are not saved? When you die without Jesus Christ, if you're to die without Jesus Christ, you will be at the great white throne. You shall be judged for your sins and you shall be condemned and you shall be in hell. But those who receive Jesus Christ, they shall be judged, but they will not be judged for their sins, they will be judged for their works in Christ. I thank you God for a saviour. There will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth. Distress of nations. Let's say that again. Distress of nations. Is there a distress of nations today? Yes, there is distress and a woe on people's faces because of this virus. Everyone panicking, everyone disturbed, everyone is worried. 
Don't tell me it's not in your face, it's because it's there. It says in God's word, though, the distress of nations. A distress of nations. It is written with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Man's hearts failing them from fear. Man's hearts will be failing them from fear. Is your heart failing you because of fear, because of this virus thing? I think it is. And the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Then when these things begin to happen, look up, lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. Amen. Your redemption draws near. Hallelujah. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah. I am telling you, 